So just to go through a little bit of initial setup, you go here to the wrench icon to get into your settings. There's two different parts. You've got your implement um, set up as well as your vehicle set up. So your tractor in this case is separate from your swather header. So to set up your swather header, and we're gonna hit the edit button, we can change the name of our swather header. And we that's just a name is all that is. But this one down here, is asking you, you know, how is it mounted? So you've got your front or rear, and it can be either trailed or rigid mount. And in this case, on a swather, these are a rigid mount design, and so you're gonna say a front rigid mount. That will change your icon. Instead of it being on the back, it'll move it to the front, and then you'll have these different measurements that are talking about your header and your header in relation to the antenna placement in this case we've got a left right offset as your header you know move to the right or to the left uh, most of the time it's centered so that's why this one's zero our link length has to do with the arm that reaches underneath the cab of the tractor is what we're talking about there it's kind of that pivot point so that one's at zero because it's almost like it's directly under the antenna which is what that red dot is representing there. Our overlap is how much do you want it to overlap. What I like to do instead of putting in an overlap, I like to change the width of the header. Seems a little simpler. This 197 is the true width of the header. We're close to it. So rather than putting that full width in, we want to have a little bit of a buffer there. So we're actually going to take that number and we're going to make it a little smaller. So if we go down, go 180, then we're at 15 feet instead of 16 uh, foot plus, we're going to leave about six inches of leeway on each side of the header. So we'll go ahead and save that. We can see that that number is updated. We hit back, go down to our machine or our tractor. We go in there and we do a very similar setup. We do edit and we've got all of our measurements based on our tractor, our tractor in relation to the antenna. So this is the name of our machine or our tractor we're calling it a wind rower 9900 this one's a 9980 and these are the different measurements you can see the letter correlates to the number off to the side so it's important to try to get these as close as you can because that is what the gps is actually making its calculations based off of so once you get those then it can know you know when it's steering to the line how you know how far do I have to go to get the header to go to the line or vice versa to get that lined up and and driving straight